Everything you see here is called the Microsoft Excel Worksheet screen. The large area is called the Worksheet area. This is where you will be constructing your worksheets. And you're going to get started with that right now. The worksheet you'll construct is the simplest form of a worksheet, but it will demonstrate the fundamental features of all worksheets. The fundamental components of a worksheet are data and information. The worksheet will add two numbers and output the sum of those two numbers. First, you need to enter some data. In cell B4, enter the number 2, and in cell C4, enter the number 3. The worksheet will add these two numbers and place the results in cell D4. Enter the equals sign followed by B4 plus C4 and hit enter. You've now written your first worksheet. It's important for you to recognize the basic components of this worksheet because all worksheets are constructed the same way. The components are the data in these two cells and the information in this cell. Now change the 2 to a 7 in cell B4. Click in the cell and type 7. When you do, the information in cell D4 updates accordingly. The fundamental concept of data and information is the basis for all worksheets. This is a worksheet that is designed to do the same calculations you normally do in your checkbook. The data in this worksheet is the date because the user enters this value, the check number, the payee, as well as the amount of the check. If you're thinking that deposits are also data, you're right. Since the user will enter the date, it is data and so is the amount. The calculated value or output in the balance column is the information. The fundamentals of this worksheet are the same for all worksheets. The user enters data in the left six columns and the information is calculated by the worksheet and is output in the balance column. Information can also be output in the form of graphs or charts. This is the same worksheet with additional information in the form of a chart. This particular chart is called a three-dimensional column chart. It shows the history of the balance with respect to time. Watch as I enter a new check. Notice that the balance and the chart update automatically. When you're making your own worksheets, all you have to keep in mind is what the data will be that the user will input and the information the worksheet will output.